You know? I mean, there's not many big guys cycling down with a beard with a cat sitting on their shoulders, so... Yeah, there she is, oh my goodness. Well, hello, Dean, how are you? Thank you I'm for good, joining thanks. us. Well, <laughs> you can't see me, but I'm very well, thank you. And how are you doing? And it, it's just like a cat to show her rump, you know? Exactly. <laughs> and then she just leaves, that's it, gone. <laughs> um, and that was our lovely Nala. It was so nice to see her as well. Um, she's a beautiful cat. And I love your hat. That's just amazing. I love uh, thank it. You. I mean, it's getting cold over here now, so you've got yeah. to keep the head warm. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Well, here in Florida, it's still pretty darn hot. <laughs> so it's like 85 degrees out. So I wish it was a little cold, though, because sometimes it, it gets boring. <laughs> it's never cold in Florida. It's nah, not really. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. rarely cold. Yeah, I'm it never, you got to come over and visit us for <laughs> sure. For sure. So anyway, so I'm going to get started with the interview questions and um and once again thank you for joining us all the way from austria Austria, that, that, correct. i've never been but it looks so beautiful by all the pictures and videos that you post it looks amazing nah, it's just an gorgeous country like beautiful very uh, green the, clear water beautiful the mountains and uh, it, it just looks like something out of like a like a magazine you know like nah, something you would put on your wall it's just beautiful. gorgeous yeah okay so um the first question is what made you want to start your journey, this wonderful journey that you're on? Yeah, um, basically I just wanted to get away from the nine to five lifestyle. We all seem to fall into, we're waking up in the morning, going to work, finishing work, sitting down watching TV, but I was doing it five times a week. Yeah. And then at the weekends, just going out and it was just the same routine. And then um, right. I thought the best way to break that would be to jump on the bike and start cycling. And here I am, still doing it, so loving it. That sort of thing. I like traveling. I like the something different happen every day. You meet new people every day, so that's the part I love about it. Yeah, yeah. And the people that you meet are always such just kind, lovely people. Like the people that you're staying with right now, just yeah, I, good people. Yeah, I just really good. Do a lot for you as well. Um, even people you meet um, who don't know who you are. So we're not yeah. doing it because you've you've got this big Instagram following. You meet some just brilliant people on the road and. Uh, go out their way to help you out and yeah just yeah yeah and that's the good thing about what you do is you bring a sense of community and love which the world needs right now all right so my next question is describe the moment when you first met nala so the first moment i met nala i mean i was cycling through bosnia i was just about to go into the next country montenegro and um, i was about 12 miles away from any town uh, cycling up a steep hill uh, I had my music on in the back of the bike, quite loud, and then I just heard this cat meowing from behind me. So I stopped the bike, pulled over, parked it up against the fence. Um, then I just seen this wee kitten chasing me up the road, and Nala was just meowing her heart out, trying to get my attention. Um, and then I just obviously stopped, gave her some pesto, which I found out afterwards. You're not meant to give to cats, it's quite bad for them. That was it, the bond was made straight away. She just she just wanted a, a companion and so did I and we just uh, it was just a perfect match oh how what a lovely story and she was just like in the middle of nowhere basically I'm middle of nowhere just tiny kitten so I mean she could fit in the palm of my hand oh my and goodness. she was just she was tiny yeah so, so I, obviously someone just dropped her off there because she was yeah. by herself she she wasn't like with a litter or anything no nah, no nah, I had a look about see if there was any older cats but yeah. I, I feel she was definitely dropped by someone because um, she wasn't scared of human contact at all. Right. Um, right. She wasn't, wasn't scared of me at all. She was obviously wanting to be there, play. So she's obviously been played with before. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad that you saved her. Beautiful relationship that the two of you have. So, okay, tell us about the time Nala caught a kitty cold and what changed after that? Obviously, now I've got this cat on me. I had her to the vets um, and I didn't want to stop cycling. And I wasn't kitted out to carry a, a small kitten on my bike, so I didn't have a waterproof carrier for her. I didn't have her any. I've got her a wee jumper now for winter to oh keep her warm. But um, I never had anything like that. So basically one of the first days, well, maybe 10 days into cycling with her, um, we just got caught in a really heavy rainstorm. And it was ice, sleet, snow, and she just basically got wet. 
and she just got a damp chest, so she got like a wee cough. So mm-hmm. then after that moment, I went into a hostel and I stayed there for a few weeks and I just looked to get my bike made better for her, let her recover. And then we set off again and she was good to go. And then you decided after that, uh, it's going to, this is Nala's journey, basically. Aye, so the bike yeah. now is basically kitted out for Nala. I've yeah. got rid of all my stuff. Yeah. Um, she's got her own umbrella. She's got sun cream for if it's too hot. She's yeah. got a jumper if it's too cold. So she's got plenty of toys as well. So she's always you got happy. Her covered. You've got her covered. Uh, yeah. She's good to go like right around the world. Does traveling with her attract attention? You know, obviously it does when you have a cat sitting, you know, in a basket in front of your bike. Yeah. So um, beforehand, um, I was cycling with my friend and we're both big guys. Um, tattoos, not many people were talking to us. And um, yeah. when he went home and I obviously got Nala on the front of the bike, everybody stops. Yeah. Um, you get old ladies stopping you, like them <laughs> smiling at you in the street, old men, um, inviting you in for some palinka, which is homemade vodka. Yeah. And uh, it just opens up so many more doors. People yeah. all stop to you, take photos, and they just love it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that's how animals work because people love animals so much. And then when they get to know you, the tatted guy, they see that you're just really a nice guy. I mean, there's not many big guys cycling down with a beard with a cat sitting on their shoulders. So Yeah, yeah, Yeah. that's true. (laughs) Tell us about your book. You know, you have a new book out, which is exciting. And it's a, from what I understand, it's about Yeah, and we've got Nala's World. So basically, um, I mean, it's just an amazing Oh, sorry. It's just such an amazing achievement. Um, So a week after I went viral, I got approached for the chance to write a book. And I just jumped at the chance of it. Because there's a lot that you don't see on Instagram and YouTube um, that's able to go in the book. So the book just basically paints a whole picture of everything that happens. And it's a brilliant book as well. People will love it. It's an amazing book. And it's it's just, it's truly a good read. Truly a good read. Thank you. You guys have sort of become a globe, global ambassadors. How does it feel to have like taken on this role? It feels amazing to be take, uh, taking on that role. It all started when we done this raffle back in Santorini and we raised, we done four bowls and Nala had her paw print in the middle and we raised something like 13,000 pound. And then that's just when it clicked, I thought, well, we could raise a lot of money doing this. So then we done calendars and we made a hundred thousand pound. And yeah. when we've done calendars again this year, we made, made the same again. So mm-hmm. um, we've planted about 30,000 trees with it all as well. Wow. Wow, that's they're not, amazing. They're not planted yet, but I think they're getting planted next year. Yeah. But and we're just um, helping animals around the world, animal sanctuaries, and yeah. just bringing awareness to everything. So I, it's, yeah. it's nice. It's a nice thing to do. Yeah, and we truly appreciate it. And yeah, we appreciate you, you know, because... Um, like I said, you and Nala, you know, we can learn from what you do and, and, it, and it affects us, you know, positive, yeah, yeah. and it makes us want to go out and do things as well. So yeah. we thank you for all of that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. And, and I was going to talk about the calendar and you do have a calendar out and yeah, we do. this is the second year. And, um, and like you said, all the proceeds do go to nonprofits, um, the environmental organizations in animal sanctuaries and what have you. So along with your travels, we have this really lovely artist. Her name is Kelly Ulrich. I think that's how she pronounced it, correct? Yeah, Kelly Ulrich. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And she basically has an Adina Nala comic that she does every day. So mm-hmm. tell tell me how that relationship got started with you and Kelly. Um, that just happened again. I think I was in Santorini at the time. And she just drew a picture of me and Nala, and I loved it. So I got in touch with her and asked her if she could draw the picture for my dad yeah. to send it to him. So she done that, and then she started just doing wee comics, and it just kind of it just kind of happened. Yeah, it just happened along the way. Which I, I mean, I think it's another brilliant thing. It's, it's yeah. amazing, and, we love it. and it's basically every single day as well. So whatever we get up to, and then it's transported into a comic. It's just it's. Yeah. And she does her own fun version of it, you know? Yeah, she's very clever. She's got very good humor as well, so. Very much, yes. Yeah, a lot of people like it. Yes. Well, Kelly, if you're watching this, we appreciate your comics and we love them. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, um, 
So where do you guys plan on going next? I know right now it's kind of hard because of the virus and you have to kind of be a little bit on lockdown, especially since things have spiked. Once it starts to open back up, where do you guys plan on going next? Um, I have no idea at the minute. I kind of, <laughs> want, I kind of want to head down to Greece for, for Christmas time so I could help out because I know there's a lot of animals down there. Things are just changing so quick with coronavirus. Yeah. All the countries around Austria are like locked down at the minute, so it's really hard to... It's really hard to make any kind of plans. Yeah, understand. Yeah. And then in spring, I would like to go and cycle across Russia and try and get over to Asia. Oh, Thailand. Okay. That's the dream. I would love to sit in Thailand on a sandy beach with a coconut. Um, Nala playing in the sand. So that'd be perfect. I love it. I love it. So, Dean, thank you for joining us. And can we see Nala one more time? Is she around you or did she... There she is. Oh my goodness. I can't even tell you how much the world loves you guys, how much we love Nala. She's so beautiful. She's just gorgeous. And she's gorgeous, like. Yeah, she is. And it's so nice to see her. And I know she doesn't know who I am or even that we're, what we're doing, but she's so beautiful. And thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And have a wonderful night and a wonderful week. And um, and I'll be seeing you on Instagram. And um, yeah, thank you for joining us. Excellent. Cheers, guys. Thank you. I have a cat named Nala. I'm not kidding you. And I've had her for four years. So that's funny. You had Nala out on the bike. On the bike. Oh, no, I've never put my Nala. Yeah. No, God, she would like rip me to shreds.